In this video, I'll show you how to create your own tools in the Unity Editor. I recently started a project in Unity, and my app has a lot of buttons, text, and other UI elements. When designing a user interface, I typically try out a bunch of different styles until I find what I like. The problem is that my app has gotten so large that updating the buttons to a specific style can actually take quite a bit of time to do manually. So I thought I'd create a tutorial to solve this issue while highlighting a really useful part of Unity. We'll be creating a new window tool that will help us assign buttons to a specific group using tags. Then we'll access all of those game objects with the tag and change them to the desired look. So here I have an empty project with a couple of buttons on a canvas. I have a few sprites that I'd like to use for the background of my buttons. All of these buttons are completely normal, nothing special added or changed. As I'm sure you know, you can apply the sprite to the button by dragging the image from the project panel into the sprite source box under the image component. I could also apply the image to the multiple buttons if I select them all and drag in the sprite. The goal is to automate this assignment instead of assigning this stuff manually. I'll start by creating a new C-sharp script by right-clicking in the project panel, navigating to create and selecting C-sharp script. I'll name the script UI Manager Window. Then double-click the script to open it in Visual Studio. Let's get rid of the boilerplate code. We'll need to include the Unity Editor library along with the Unity Engine UI tools. Now, since this isn't a game object in our scene, we need to replace the mono behavior with the editor window class. The first thing we need to do is add a public static void function called show window. This will link our script with the button we're about to create in the window dropdown. To add a button to the window dropdown, we'll place a classifier in a pair of brackets before we call our show window function. When calling our show window function, make sure to pass in the location and name of the window we want. All right, now let's take a look to make sure that our button shows up in the window dropdown. And here is our UI manager button. So opening that will show an empty window in which we will set up our tool. So let's create a couple variables for this tool. First thing I want is a string and that will keep track of the tag we want to associate our UI objects with. We need a sprite variable for the background of the button and a color for the button itself. Next, let's create a private void function called onGUI, and this will call the window when it appears, so it's a great place for us to write all of the logic for the tool itself. So the first thing I'll add is a label, and that will help us organize the tool. We can do that by using the label function derived from the GUI layout class, and I'll set the title of this label to classification and set the style of the label to label. Next, I'll open and close a horizontal group so that we can create a label and a button in line together. This time I'll use a label field class from the editor GUI layout class. I certainly could do the same as above, but here I'd like to specify the width that this label takes up. And it introduces a little bit of a variety in some of the different ways you can create a tool like this. To set up the button, I'll write an if statement that creates the button using the GUI layout class. I'll pass in the name of our tag as the text on the button. And for now, let's just log a statement every time the button is clicked. If we return to Unity, we can see the update to our UI tool with the labels and buttons added. If we click the button, we can see here a log statement. So now we need to get the currently selected objects and change their tags. So I'll write a for each loop that will iterate through the game objects here named I in our selected game objects, which can be accessed using the selection class. Then I'll access the current game objects and change its tag to the primary tag string that we have declared here at the top. Let's test this out in Unity.
Now we did already create the tag, but if we click the button, we can see that there are no tags currently associated with it. When I select each button in the scene view and click our button in our editor window, we can observe all of their tags changing to our primary tag. Now let's work on changing their background and sprite. I'll exit the horizontal group and add a space to our interface. I'll create a new label called settings followed by a new horizontal group and I'll create a label for our image field and create a new field for us to drag in the image we want to use. To do that we can use an object field function from our editor GUI layout class making sure to cast the field as a sprite. I'll run through the same process creating a color field by copying and pasting the sprite selection. And I think we're finally ready to test things out. So since I already have my buttons tagged properly, all I need to do is add a sprite to the object field along with a color that isn't transparent and click our editor button. Now if I click one of the buttons, forcing the scene view to update, we can see all of the buttons are properly changed. What's up everyone, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you thought this video was helpful. Also go check out our social media accounts for more videos just like this.